Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of solving addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got, at the beginning of September, Mr. Watkins had 543 erasers. That's a lot of erasers. So that's at the beginning of September. Then during September, he gives 99 to his students. During October, he gives 212 to his students. So how many erasers did he have at the end of October? All right, so let's see if we can represent this with a strip diagram. So it looks like this is going to be our starting point right here. So this is going to be our total. So we're going to draw this little line up here. And we're going to say 543. And from those 543, he's going to keep doing things to them. Uh, it looks like we've got three different numbers. And we're missing one of them. Right, so the first one is gives away 99. And then the second number is gives away 212. I'm going to try to make it proportional, so my 212 is uh, more than hopefully doubled my 99, because 212 is more than double 99. Um, and then we've got, we don't know, we've got this missing number. That's what we're looking for, the missing erasers at the end, uh, the number of erasers at the end of October. So if we look at it like this, 99 plus my 212, those are the two that he gave away, plus whatever he has left, all those three together is going to equal my starting point, 543. All right, so that's a pretty good representation of what we have here. So let's see how we can solve this. Well, when I'm looking at this part, part whole, right, I'm thinking of this addition, I'm wondering, I wonder how much he gave away. He gave away 99 and 212, right? So there's a few different ways we can do this. So here's just the standard algorithm, right? Standard algorithm means we just line it up, we add it, carry, all of that. So let's just try that. So 9 and 2 is going to be 11. And that's going to be 10, 11. All right, so that's 311. So if we're looking at all of this right here, we're going to get 311. But some of you might have noticed, you know what, that 99 is almost a 100, right? So if I did 100, That's going to be 312. And look how easy that is, right? I'm just adding 100. But in order to get that 100, I had to add 1 to the 99. So in order to, to get it back to the actual answer, I need to take that 1 back away. So 311. So you could do a little bit of compensation there where you're just making that 99 a little bit easier. Um, and obviously, that's not one of our answer choices because we're not looking for how much he gave away. We're looking for how much he had at the end of October. But now, we've got this. Look at this. 311 plus an unknown number is going to make 543. Well, I don't know what that missing addend is, but I do know that I could use a related subtraction sentence because... Addition, subtraction, or inverse operations. And when we look at fact families, we always have two addition and two subtraction sentences. All right, so I could do 543 minus 311, and that could get me my missing number. So let's do that. And look, I don't even need to regroup at all. It's going to be 2, it's going to be 3, and that is going to be... Two. So our answer here is G.